if you are struggling to see results with your skincare products or your skincare products just stopped working and your skin now feels easily irritated with acne rashes and redness chances are your skin barrier might be damaged <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're stopping by for the first time judith is the name if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking around if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please tap the subscribe button down below to get subscribed to my channel for more skincare tips and don't forget to like this video if you end up enjoying it in today's video we are going to be talking about how to repair damaged skin barrier so if you're one of those that have damaged your skin or you feel your skin barrier have been compromised or you've been noticing rashes redness on your skin and you want to keep on watching because it's obvious your skin barrier have been damaged so i'll be showing you how to repair your damaged skin barrier how to know when your skin barrier have been damaged and the best skincare product to use to repair your damaged skin barrier so skin barrier or moisture barrier as it's called is found on the epidermis which is the outermost layer of your skin so this skin barrier its main function is to lock in moisture and hydration into your skin and also to prevent any form of irritations or pollutants on your skin so in a situation whereby your skin barrier is damaged or has been compromised you start noticing this redness or itchiness rashes dehydrated dry flaky looking skin like your skin will start looking rough and even though it's dry it will feel tight and it will have a whole lot of oil on it in some cases you might notice this unusual acne breakouts on your skin and any products you tend to apply on your skin will give you that stingy feel and your skin will somewhat be sensitive so all the signs and symptoms will help you know when your skin barrier have been compromised or damaged like when your skin barrier have been damaged it will be hard to achieve that plump soft smooth and glowing skin that is when you notice that your skincare product that have been working the whole time have suddenly stopped working so damaging your skin barrier is as easy as anything so that is why you need to be extremely careful with what you put on your skin to avoid weakening your skin barrier and damaging your skin so there are various causes of damaged skin barrier and the first one on my list is over exfoliation over exfoliating your skin is one easy and peasy way to damage your skin barrier you don't constantly need to scrub your skin every day just because you want to achieve a quick result with your skincare products when you over exfoliate your skin is going to weaken your skin barrier and cause you breakouts or other damages on your skin so when exfoliating your skin you want to make sure that you're exfoliating at most two to three times in a week when exfoliating your face please do not use physical scrubs on your face opting for chemical scrubs that will gently exfoliate your face so the second cause of damaged skin barrier is sun exposure like i always say if you're not protecting your skin from the sun you're bound to experience various damages on your skin and one of them is damaging your skin barrier so you need a sunscreen in your skincare routine if you want to maintain a healthy skin barrier so the third cause of a damaged skin or compromised skin barrier is using too many actives in your skincare routine like this is one of the mistakes that a lot of people make on a daily basis they go on to pack 1001 products in their skincare routine so if you're one of those people that is using too many actives like retinol vitamin c niacinamide kojic acid all at once in a single skincare routine please you need to stop it because you are not in any way helping your skin rather you are damaging your skin barrier without knowing it if you have many skin issues just start by treating them one after the other don't go and be packing too many actives and be treating all your skin concerns at once take them one at a time and treat them 
if you don't know which of your active to add and remove you just need to talk to your dermatologist or a professional so that they will basically help you out and select the most effective ones for your skin rather than packing 1001 products so other causes of damaged skin barrier could be as a result of genetics stress lack of sleep and aging so as we get older our skin barrier gets weaker so with that said if you want to prevent damaging your skin barrier or you want to repair your skin barrier you need to avoid over exfoliating your skin so the second thing you need to do if you want to prevent or repair your skin barrier is to discontinue your actives for some time so the third thing you need to do if you want to prevent or repair your damaged skin barrier is to apply your sunscreen every day and do not forget to always reapply your sunscreen after two hours so the last step you need to take if you want to prevent or repair your damaged skin barrier is to look out for moisturizers that contains ceramide hyaluronic acid glycerin niacinamide aloe extract calendula extract and pantenor like these are the major ingredients you need to look out for if you want to really repair your damaged skin barrier they will go a long way to locking moisture back into your skin so another thing you need to do if you want to repair your damaged skin barrier is to simplify your skincare routine this way you'll be helping your damaged skin to heal like packing a lot of products in your skincare routine is not going to help you so that is why i've gone ahead put together a skincare routine that will help you repair your damaged skin barrier so the first step in your skincare routine if you want to repair your damaged skin barrier is cleansing your skin when it comes to getting cleansers for your skin you want to opt in for gentle cleansers with a ph level of four to six to avoid using harsh or chemical cleansers on your skin so you should basically opt in for, for gentle cleansers and soap that will help to gently cleanse your skin and remove dead without stripping your skin of its lipid content you should basically opt in for gel based cleansers cream cleansers like all of this to go a long way to repair your damaged skin barrier one of the cleansers i'll be recommending for you guys is the ace well ph balancing cleanser it contains six types of hyaluronic acid in it it's suitable for all skin types especially for those with sensitive skin type so the second step in your skincare routine if you want to really repair your damaged skin barrier is to moisturize your skin so when moisturizing your skin you need to look out for moisturizers that contain ceramides humectants like hyaluronic acid and the rest like they will basically help to hydrate your skin and lock in moisture back into your skin so the moisturizers that i love that will basically help to repair your skin is the CeraVe Avino skin relief intense moisture cream another one is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream like these three moisturizers will help to moisturize your skin and add back hydration right into your skin so they are very suitable for people battling with damaged skin barrier like it's basically going to help repair your damaged skin barrier and give you that plumpy healthy look so you can basically use this all over your body to moisturize your skin so if you cannot afford to get any of those cream you can basically opt in for your Vaseline Blue Seal Pure Petroleum Jelly this particular Vaseline Petroleum Jelly is very good to lock in moisture back into your skin like it works very well but when using this you want to use it only at night so the third step in your skincare routine if you really want to repair your damaged skin barrier is using oils so using any plant-based oil will help to restore back your skin barrier and some of these oils includes your jojoba oil almond oil argan oil rosehip oil sunflower oil like all of them are very good and you can use both your creams and those oils to repair your damaged skin barrier like they are very effective when it comes to repairing damaged skin and the last thing you don't want to skip if you really want to repair your damaged skin barrier is using a sunscreen 
Using a sunscreen will go a long way to protect your skin from the UV rays, which can easily damage your skin. So if you really want to repair your damaged skin, you want to make sure you're using a sunscreen in your skincare routine. So yeah, that is basically it on how to repair your damaged skin barrier. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to like, subscribe to my channel for more skincare tips, and see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!